the Lord holy up praise ye the Lord holy up praise ye the Lord holy up praise ye the Lord all right we'll be praying for the current situation in Canada with all these wildfires Lord we pray for rain in Canada as it's causing a lot of uh, yellow skies and smoke and bad air quality in not only in our state of Minnesota as today but also other parts of the US like New York and Eastern Coast and all the way to uh, um, pretty much the Northeast and Midwest of the US. Lord we pray for rain in these areas and may your Holy Spirit and glory fall in these states too. May your presence be felt in these places. Pour out your spiritual rain too, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, I'll read from the book of. I'll read from the book of Second Chronicles 33. It's one of many Bible verses on the theme of fires. I didn't do wildfires, but fires. Lord, we pray for your wisdom. We pray for wisdom and knowledge on what you are saying to us in these days. And whoever watches this video or listens to this video, speak to them personally on how they can be used by you and for your building, your kingdom, and your glory. And that they'll come to a growing personal relationship with you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Second Chronicles chapter 33 in the Old Testament, I believe. I think. History books. Historical books. King Manasseh's transgressions. Yeah, Old Testament. Verse 33, or chapter 33, verse 1. Manasseh was 12 years old when he became king, and he reigned 55 years in Jerusalem. He did evil in the sight of Adonai, which is a theme in Second Chronicles and First Chronicles. We must learn from these mistakes. Just like the abominations of the nations that Adonai had driven out before Na Israel, for he rebuilt the high places that his father Hezekiah had demolished. He re erected altars for the Balaam, made Asherah poles, and bowed down to all the hosts of heaven and worshipped them. He built altars in the house of Adonai, of which Adonai had said, A name will be in Jerusalem forever. He also built altars for all the hosts of heaven in the two courtyards of the house of Adonai. Furthermore, he made his children pass through the fire in the valley of Ben-Hinnon and practice witchcraft, divination, and sorcery, and consulted ghosts and spiritists. Reminds me of Saul in Kings. You think he learned from that mistake. He did much evil in the sight of Adonai, provoking him to anger. And he placed the carved images image of the idol that he had made in the house of God of which God had said to David and to his son Solomon in this house and in Jerusalem that I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel I will put my name forever I will never again remove the foot of Israel from the land which I have appointed for their fathers if only they will if they only will observe to do all that I have commanded them all the Torah, the statutes, and the ordinances delivered by the hand of Moses. But Manasseh led Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem astray, so that they did more evil than the nations whom Adonai destroyed before Nai Israel. Adonai spoke to Manasseh and his people, but they paid no attention. The next section theme is Assyrians sent to chasten Manasseh. Verse 11. Therefore Adonai brought against them the commanders of the army of the king of Assyria, who captured Manasseh with hooks, bound him with bronze shackles, and led him to Babylon. In his distress he entreated Adonai his god, and greatly humbled himself before the god of his fathers. When he prayed to him, he was moved by his entreaty, heard his plea, and brought him back to Jerusalem into this, his kingdom. And Manasseh knew that Adonai... He is God. Afterward, he built an outer wall to the city of David west of Gihon in the valley as far as the entrance to the fish gate. And encircling the Hophel, he also raised it up much higher. He stationed military officers in all the fortified cities of Judah. 
He also removed the foreign gods and idols from the house of Adonai, as well as all the altars that he had built on the mount of the house of Adonai and in Jerusalem and threw them outside the city. He built the altar of Adonai and sacrificed on it sacrifices of fellowship and thanksgiving and commanded Judah to serve Adonai, the God of Israel. Nevertheless, the people will sacrifice in the high places, but only to Adonai, their God. Now the rest of the acts of Manasseh, his prayer to his God, and the words of the seers who spoke to him in the name of Adonai, the God of Israel, behold, they were written in the records of the kings of Israel, his prayer also, and how God was moved by his entreaty, all his sin and his unfaithfulness, and the sites on which he built high places and erected the Asherah poles and the carved images before he humbled himself. Behold, they are written in the records of Hosai. Manasseh slept with his fathers, and they buried him in his own house. His own Amon became king of the place. And the next, last chapter theme is Wicked King Ammon Assassinated. Verse 21, Ammon was 22 years old when he became king and he reigned two years in Jerusalem. He did what was evil in the sight of Adonai just as his father Manasseh had done. Generational curse. Mena Ammon sacrificed to all the carved images that Manasseh his father had made and worshipped them. He did not humble himself before Adonai as his father Manasseh had humbled himself and said Ammon increased his guilt. So his servants conspired against him and assassinated him in his own house. And the people of the land struck down all who had conspired against King Ammon and the people of the land that made Josiah his king in his place. And that's verse 25 in the book of Second Chronicles 33, one of many Bible verses on the theme of fires. Related to the current fires in Canada, the wildfires that's been going on for the last two months or so. Lord, we pray for your rain. Pour out your rain in Canada, Lord. Forgive the p sins of the people of Canada, Lord. We may Second Chronicles seven fourteen. May, if my people will call my by name, humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, turn from their sins. I will heal the land. Hallelujah.